Auditing Standard SRE 2400 Part 1 Scope and Objectives The Standard on Review Engagements, SRE, 2400 outlines the responsibilities of a practitioner when performing a review of historical financial statements. The SRE 2400 is applicable when the practitioner is engaged to review financial statements, but is not the auditor of the entity. Ethical Requirements The practitioner conducts the review primarily through inquiry and analytical procedures to gather sufficient appropriate evidence for their conclusion. The standard provides further guidance for carrying out the review engagement effectively. It also emphasizes the importance of adhering to ethical requirements, including independence, as described in the Code of Ethics issued by the relevant professional body. Professional Skepticism and Professional Judgment Professional skepticism and professional judgment are essential aspects of a review engagement. The practitioner must critically assess evidence, question inconsistencies, and remain alert to any indications of possible fraud. Professional judgment is needed to make decisions about materiality and the extent of procedures used in the review. Engagement Level Quality Control Engagement level quality control is crucial for ensuring the quality of review engagements. The engagement partner plays a significant role in overseeing the engagement, complying with firm's quality control policies, and facilitating effective communication within the engagement team. Acceptance and continuance of client relationships and review engagements. Before accepting a review engagement, the practitioner must assess certain factors, such as the financial reporting framework used and management's acknowledgement of their responsibilities. If the circumstances indicate that accepting the engagement would not be appropriate, the practitioner may recommend another type of engagement or decline the review. Preconditions for accepting a review engagement If the wording of the practitioner's report is prescribed by law or regulation and differs significantly from the SRE requirements, the practitioner should evaluate whether additional explanation in the report can mitigate potential misunderstandings. If not possible, they should not accept the engagement, unless required by law. Agreeing the terms of engagement Agreeing on the terms of the engagement with the client is crucial before commencing the review. The practitioner and the client should record these terms in an engagement letter or other written agreement. Acceptance of a change in the terms of the review engagement In case there is a request to change the terms of the engagement, the practitioner should assess if there is a reasonable justification for the change. If justified, they may proceed with the revised engagement, ensuring the new terms are agreed upon and documented. Communication with management and those charged with governance During the review engagement, the practitioner is required to communicate with management or those charged with governance. Timely and effective communication is essential for addressing significant matters and developing a constructive working relationship. In conclusion, the SRE 2400 outlines the scope, objectives, and requirements for review engagements of historical financial statements. It emphasizes adherence to ethical principles, the importance of professional skepticism and judgment, and effective communication with clients. Its compliance with the SRE ensures the practitioner provides limited assurance on the financial statement's reliability. Thanks for watching.